Hey, what's up, everybody? Back uh, one more time today, as I said before, with a for sale video for a buddy of mine. Uh, random, eclectic mix of stuff here. And there's a lot of this, so I'm going to get right into it. Uh, first, there's a few numbered cards here. Um, random stuff. We'll say a uh, dollar a piece on these. There's a Rusty Staub, Great to the Game, Blue Parallel, number to 500. Uh, Johnny Bench, Tom Seaver, Battery Mates, number to 1979. There's a Jordan Schaefer rookie, uh, number to 999. Gypsy Queen, Mel Ott, Parallel, number to 999. There's a Martin Prado, number to 520. Pretty good deal on that one. Uh, Jake Westbrook to 999. Here's a Jermaine Dye. Um, Kind of a refractor, number to 1999. Edwin Jackson, Chrome to 1962. Edison Valquez uh, to 520. Here's a Matt Lidstrom, number to 2010. Neil Walker to 2011. Uh, Jose Reyes, gold card, number to 2010. Um, Mets team card number to 2010. Here's a Steven Drew to 9.99. Frank Thomas to 150. Um, John Smoltz to 25. That's a great deal. Here's a Manny Ramirez to 25. And this is Jim Tomei to 25. These next ones are triple threads and. Um, I think by the fact that a pack of this stuff is a hundred bucks, these cards might be worth a little more than a dollar. So here's Brooks Robinson to thirteen fifty. We'll say three bucks. Dustin Pedroia to five twenty five. We'll say five bucks. And uh, I'm gonna throw this out there. Felix Hernandez number seven of twenty five. I'm gonna say ten on that, but uh, we can negotiate. All right. Um. Moving right along to some jersey cards. Here's a Kurt Schilling jersey with a pinstripe, say two bucks. Here's an Evan Longoria jersey, uh, four dollars. Tim Wakefield, a dollar. Nick Markakis, a dollar. James Loney, one dollar. Matt Holiday, uh, we'll go two bucks on that. Tory Hunter, a dollar. Jake Westbrook, one dollar. All right, and then we got a bunch of these manufactured patches. Um, as you know, these come from those retail blaster boxes, which are twenty bucks a piece. So we're gonna go three bucks a piece on these. There's a uh, Monty Irvin, uh, Duke Snyder. There's a Tom Seaver, Juan Marshall. There's a Miguel Cabrera. This one is not perfect. There's some creasing on it. Some of these come out of the box that way, and unfortunately, this was one of them. Uh, there's a Matt Holiday. The Roy Holiday. Frank Thomas. And that's it. So we're going to go three bucks on all of those. Okay, next, uh, Lasting's Millage, $1.00. Garrett Atkins, one dollar. John Main, one dollar. Uh, Dan Heron, uh, uh, two bucks on him. This is uh, yeah, Brett Anderson, one dollar. Johnny Danks, one dollar. Todd Helton, uh, and one dollar. Those are all jerseys, by the way. This one's pretty cool. This is Victor Martinez jersey card out of uh, Upper Deck Masterpieces. These are really nice cards. Um, Victor Martinez was pretty great this year. We'll go three bucks on that one. Um, all right, and then this is a Prince Fielder bat card. Um, I think we'll go four bucks on that. Mike Leak jersey, one dollar. Another one, dollar. There's a Bill Hall jersey for a dollar. And there's a Roy Halladay jersey. Uh, say three bucks on that one. Alright, and then there's some other random singles here. 
We've got this uh, Michael Jordan. This is just a base card out of uh, Goodwin Champions, but it's still pretty awesome. Say two bucks on that. Here's a, a Kazuo Matsui from 09 Tops Chrome. Number to 199 Blue Refractor. That's a dollar. Here's an Ian Kinsler. This is pretty sweet. Number 11 of 50 from Piece of History. And um, go $3 on that. Another really cool one, Matt Kemp. Uh, number 53 of 150. He had a great year. I'm going to say 4 bucks, um, but we might be able to negotiate that one, especially if you buy quantity. Um, everything's negotiable if you buy quantity. If you're buying like one card, then it's pretty much what I'm asking for. Uh, here's an Andrew Carpenter autograph. Uh, three bucks. This is sweet. This is from uh, 2004 Greats of the Game. Joe Rudy autograph. Um, gonna say seven bucks on that. This is an Andre Torres uh, for the Giants. What's up, Canuck Cod? Uh, we're looking for three bucks on that one. Here's a Kelly Shopik rookie auto. Um, I was kind of torn with this one. I'm going to say three bucks on that one, too. And then this is sweet. This is a Jason Kubel autograph. Uh, I'm going to say five bucks for that one. All right, and then some of the stuff from the last video is still available. You got this Ricky Henderson um, ball holder. with You know, I could put a card in there, too. It's got that uh, little plaque on it, Stolen Base King. Got this ball with all these um, pre-printed autographs from uh, the 1991 All-Star Game from Nabisco. Um, case might be worth more than the ball, but still kind of a cool item. Take offers on that. Um, Braves fans, this is a plaque from Mark Lemke. Um, he was on at least one of the teams that won the World Series. Um... I don't even remember, actually, if he was on the Braves at that point when he won the World Series. But this guy, um, uh, he's from my hometown, so that's why that's why my friend happens to have this plaque. Uh, he was kind of a big deal from where I come from. So, I don't know, any Braves fans that uh, might be interested in that, let me know. Not looking to get a lot for that. If anybody wants this thing... Um, if you buy something, I will throw it in. Just tell me you want it. It's just a, an album. Right, this is a 2006 Tops football complete set. New York Giants. Um, contains 385 cards plus five New York Giants rookie cards not included in the regular set. Um, so this is sealed. It does have one corner that looked like it got hit. But uh, it's never been opened. Um, this thing costs like $110 if you were to buy it new. Um, but obviously, um, we're not looking to get $110 for it at this point. So just make offers on this. And um, no no offers are too small. I mean, we can negotiate. So don't feel free. Just let me know what you're looking to do here. All right, next is this 89 Bowman baseball set, which is, I think this is really cool. If nobody buys this, I'm going to keep it. Um, this is the first Bowman set that they made since like the 50s. It's got the Griffey rookie. Um, it was they were the oversized cards. This is not sealed, but it hasn't been handled and everything. These cards are all, you know, really nice. They all look like they have sharp corners. I haven't even taken them out here either. But uh, this is the complete set. Um, I mean, the Griffey alone is worth a few bucks. I want us to say 10 bucks on this thing. Um, and that's pretty firm on that, actually, 10 bucks. And finally, this is a 1992 top set that has been broken up. So this is basically just some stuff that would be cool for someone looking to do TTMs. Nice looking cards. They would accommodate the autograph really well. Um, you got a lot of star cards in here too. There's Tony La Russa. Um, so make an offer on this. Might be the kind of thing where 
I don't know, a couple bucks might do the trick. I mean, of course, on all this stuff, you're going to have to pay for shipping, so just bear that in mind. Um, but that's, you know, I'll work with you on that. We could do it in a cheap way, you know, parcel post, whatever. Um, not looking to soak you on the shipping. I'm going to charge you exactly what it costs me to ship it to you. Um, all right, and that's it for now. There's still... Uh, <laughs> three monster boxes and one uh, top loader like shoe box in there full of stuff so there will be more videos coming if you're interested in this stuff do not hesitate please do not hesitate to let me know and we can negotiate on prices all right thanks for watching guys um just let me know what you want and i'll talk to you soon